What's happening everybody? My name is Mark and welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we are gonna be going through the Photo Pro X Aircross 3 carbon fiber tripod. So just a quick disclaimer, I would like to thank Photo Pro for sending me this tripod for review. I have not been paid by Photo Pro to say anything good about this tripod. So everything that I will be saying in this video is of my own opinion. So the main selling point of this tripod right here is its weight. It is only 0.94 kilograms, and that is an insane weight considering what this can do. So the Photo Pro X Aircross Mark III can carry a payload of up to 10 kilograms in weight. So this is the camera that I bring with me whenever I go out to make product reviews or vlogs. This is the Sony a7 IV with a Tamron 17 to 28 f2.8 lens. So this setup right here, plus a microphone, will be barely two kilograms in weight. So it is barely hitting the total payload of 10 kilograms on the Photo Pro X Aircross Mark III. So when folded down, this tripod right here is only 14.37 inches in length. So not only is it light, it is small in terms of its footprint as well, which means you can easily stash this inside a backpack. It doesn't even need to be a camera bag. So don't be deceived by how small this tripod looks because this can actually go up to 59 0.44 inches in height. So that is a very usable uh, height when it comes to tripods. So you can use it for photography, for videography when you interview people. So yeah, this tripod is actually very versatile when it comes to the height. And if you do want to get low angle shots like close to the ground shots, you can remove the center shaft or the center column and you can get as low as 6.29 inches to the ground. So let's quickly talk about the ball head that comes with the X Aircross Mark III. So this is the FPH 42QR. So this is a panoramic ball head. So there are many different knobs that you can turn. So if you loosen this knob over here, you can enable the pan of the tripod head. And if you loosen this knob over here, you get full swivel and tilt, and you can even go 90 degrees. And here we have a unique knob, which enables another point of panning. So if you loosen this over here, you get another point to pan with. And finally, we get a bubble level plus knob to release the Arca Swiss compatible plate. Underneath it lies another bubble level, so you can adjust the horizon or the level of your tripod even without using a camera to check the level. So this plate right here is an Arca Swiss plate, which means this tripod head right here is an Arca Swiss compatible tripod head. So if you do have one of those Peak Design plates, you can actually use it very easily. And there you have the tripod head plus another Arca Swiss plate. So you don't have to use the actual plate that comes with the camera. So one more thing to talk about is the reversible tripod attachment screw. So if you remove the tripod, tripod head, it reveals a reversible screw over here to mount different tripod heads. So right now it is on 3 8 mode. If you unscrew that, you can actually pluck this off and then reverse it and then you get a quarter inch. So if you do have a smaller tripod head and you don't want to use the included tripod head, you could do that. So the Photo Pro X Aircross Mark III also has one of the fastest locking mechanisms in terms of tripod legs that I've ever used. So this has the one click system. So all you need to do is just twist it one time, extend it, and then twist it back. So this can set you up really fast, especially if you're in a pinch and you need to set up really quick in terms of setting up the tripod in your camera. This will really help you in terms of speed. So at the center column or shaft, you also have a hook where you can hang your bag so to weigh it down even more so if you're scared that this might not be stable in terms of using it outdoors maybe there's a gust of wind that might blow your camera and make it shake a little bit put put your backpack on this thing and it will stabilize your camera setup even more so one more cool thing that they added to the body of the tripod is is that they added two quarter inch mounting holes so one here and one here, which means you can actually use whatever quarter inch rigs you have, like a, a magic arm or a friction arm. You could hook up your phone to this tripod or you could hook up a power bank so you can actually have a cleaner way to run a cable to your camera so that you have infinite power without making it look awkward and in a mess. So there's an actual hidden feature to this tripod right here. So if you remember the hook right here, right? The spring loaded hook where you attach your back. If you unscrew that, it will reveal something that you will not expect from a tripod. So there is an actual phone clamp here. See, this is spring loaded and you can attach your phone. So this in plain sight looks like a normal phone clamp, right? But actually this is Arca Swiss compatible. So 
You don't even need the plate here to attach your phone. You can put your phone like this and screw it back. And that looks amazing. This phone clamp easily is one of the best features of this camera tripod because you could put a magic arm on this and attach this to the side of the tripod and then run a cable to your camera and then you can have infinite power without relying on the camera's built-in battery. So Photo Pro also sent us their new fluid head, their mini fluid head, which is the MH2L, which is one of the smallest fluid heads I've ever seen. Okay, so the advantage of the Photo Pro MH2L fluid head is that not only is it a fluid head which can pan smoothly for video and it can tilt, but it has a secret feature, which is it has a built-in ball head. So normally fluid heads of this size will not have this feature, but if you loosen this knob over here, it can act like a ball head. Not completely uh, like a ball head that can go 90 degrees, but this can do a quick adjustment when it turns to adjusting your horizon and you can screw it back and you can have a level video head. And one more cool thing about this video head is that the handle is adjustable in terms of length. All you need to do is just unscrew this, pull it, and then screw it back. And then you can easily have a handle that can be hidden away and removed as well. All you need to do is just unscrew it like this. So one more thing I forgot to mention is that this also has a, an Arca Swiss compatible head. So it comes with this Arca Swiss plate, very easy, just like the other ball head. And one more feature that I forgot to mention is that this has a secret Allen key over here that is attached firmly with a magnet. So if you do leave an Allen key at home and you need one, you can remember that, oh, you actually have one inside your fluid head. And one more cool thing is that it has another attachment point over here, a quarter inch attachment point, which you can use to attach a friction arm, like what I said, and you can attach a monitor, whatever you need. So let's conclude this video by talking about who this tripod is for. So this tripod is for people like me who don't want to lug around a very heavy tripod that basically can do the same payload. So this tripod is not only lightweight, but it is small as well, which means you can easily fit it in any backpack that you have. It's not gonna hurt your shoulders as much as carrying an actual heavy duty tripod. So that is it for me guys. If you have any further questions regarding the Photo Pro X Aircross Mark III carbon fiber tripod, leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.